Okay, today we'd like to uh, just uh, talk a little bit about basic plasma parameters. Um, so we're just inter introducing you to a few very basic concepts and uh, this is quite a short uh, episode. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the temperature of the species within a plasma. And this is an ex extremely important concept um, and it comes from a group of particles all moving at different speeds in different directions. Um, and we're trying to capture a single feature about them. So what we look at is, we look at um, the temperature, and we define the temperature as equal to a third of the mass of the species times the ensemble average velocity of the, the species squared. And now, um, the kinetic energy in a particular um, direction or dimension is going to be half mv squared, um, and the average energy of a three-dimensional distribution of particles um, is going to be three over two times KTE because there's three different dimensions and there's a, a half uh, of KT um, energy in each dimension. So you have three over two KT is equal to kinetic energy. And so we can see then the temperature is going to be uh, 2 over 3 times a half mv squared, so 1 over 3 mv uh, squared. And that's the definition of the temperature. Now that assumes a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, but in many plasmas we don't have a proper equilibrium. So the plasma hasn't had time to relax and so that all the particles follow a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, which is uh, what you expect in ultimate equilibrium. And many plasmas we see are not in equilibrium. But we can still use this definition of 1 over 3 mv squared. The other important thing to note about a plasma is, as well as its temperature, is the concept of quasi-neutrality. Now, what quasi-neutrality means that within the plasma, you have ionized species, you have ions, and you have electrons. But the density of the ions and electrons are the same. Uh, and the ions are normally positive. Uh, and it is possible to have negative ions, but normally we think of, uh, say, in an argon plasma or most plasmas, uh, certainly the simple gases, uh, nitrogen, argon, uh, tend to have just positive ions. And so we have positive ions and electrons, and electrons are negatively charged. And so we have the density of the ions is approximately equal to the density of the electrons. So the positive charge and the negative charge essentially cancel out. And so within the bulk of the plasma, the plasma is neutral. It doesn't have any excess charge, and we don't have any electric fields inside the plasma. And that's quasi-neutrality. It's also a very important um, definition of a plasma is that it tends to be in quasi-neutrality. Um, we'll move on then to some more basic plasma parameters. So we want to talk about the thermal speed. Now, the thermal speed means for a particular temperature of plasma, then the average speed of a particle um, of a particular species within that plasma is the thermal speed. Uh, the hotter the temperature of the species, the faster the particles on average are going. And therefore we can define the thermal speed again from taking the kinetic energy uh, as equal to half mv squared in any particular direction uh, we can s show that uh, the average speed is equal to the square root of two times the temperature over the mass of the species and this is called a thermal often thermal velocity or thermal speed of the particle um, the next concept then is the ion thermal thermal speed and this is quite important because in a plasma, if we assume, let's say, the ions and the electrons are at the same temperature, and that's not a gen generally correct, because in most plasmas, the energy is absorbed, be it from uh, the electric field or an RF, a radio frequency driven electric field, wherever the energy is coming from it, into the plasma, it usually comes in through the electrons. And so the electrons tend to heat up. The electrons then collide with the other species. They collide with the neutrals and they cause ionization. And they collide with the ions and they tend to heat the ions. But the electrons have very small mass relative to the ion. And so the 
the, the uh, efficiency of energy exchange between the electron and the ion is very poor. And, but the ion tends to be the same mass as the neutral gas. So if it's an argon plasma or nitrogen plasma, the ion tends to be the similar mass to the background gas. So the ions exchange energy with the gas very efficiently. Uh, because if two particles collide, if they're the same mass, like two billiard balls, they tend to exchange energy. If they're very different mass, like a marble hitting a billiard ball, the marble just bounces away and carries away most of its energy. And so um, a marble doesn't exchange energy with a billiard ball very well, but two billiard balls will exchange energy with each other very well. And so what happens is the energy goes into the electrons, uh, heats the electrons up, and the electrons then tend to heat the ions, but not very efficiently. And the gas tends to cool both the electrons and the ions but uh, the ions much more efficiency. So the ions tend to be much colder or near the gas temperature, where in many industrial uh, plasmas are used in, ap in various applications, and the electrons tend to be very hot, and that's often referred to as a cold plasma. Um, so the ion thermal speed is then often determined by the temperature difference. But for the moment, let's assume that the the, the temperature of both the ions and the electrons are the same in this particular plasma, it's a thermal plasma, then we can define the thermal speed of the ions as the ratio of the square root of the mass of the ion and the electron times the electron thermal temperature, so, uh, thermal speed. So let's say the electrons are traveling at, say, uh, 100,000 meters per second um, in an argon plasma. The mass of the ion is going to be 1,836 times um, the ion mass, which in argon is 40, so it's going to be 40 times 100, uh, 1,836. Um, bigger, heavier, the ion is going to be that much heavier than the electron. Uh, take the square root of that and you come with a number somewhere around 270. And so if the ions and the electrons have the same temperature, then the ions will be traveling approximately 270 times slower than the electrons. Um, so if the electrons are traveling at say 100,000 meters per second, the ions are traveling on the orders of, of, uh, of uh, hundreds of meters uh, per second, or maybe uh, what, four or 500 meters per second. So the ions tend to be much slower in the plasma than the electrons. That's a very, very important concept as we'll see later. So that's enough for today. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.